Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, the brothers and sisters, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. One of the major things that we need to be very aware of, and we need to remind ourselves, to have good friendship, to have a good companionship. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, لا تصاحب إلا مؤمنا ولا يأكل طعامك إلا تقي. The Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam said, only make a friend who is a believer, a good believer, and only let someone who fears Allah to eat your food. So it is important for us to have good friendship, a good companionship. And I do say, why don't you have good companionship? Why don't you have good friends? Why don't you surround yourself with those who fear Allah Azza wa Jal? Surround yourself with those who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That if you forget, they remind you. And if you fall down, they pull you up. Surround yourself with those who fear Allah azza wa jal. That they drag you to which is good. Take you to the mosque. Take you to the lessons. Take you to what pleases Allah azza wa jal. Do not surround yourself with those who do not fear Allah. As the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa tells you, do not make a friendship with someone who is not a believer. Only surround yourself with those who get you closer to Allah azza wa jal. And let's surround yourself with those who will get you closer to the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he describes the good friendship and the bad friendship is the example of a perfume seller and a welder. The perfume seller, even though that if you don't even buy anything from him, you'll walk away from him smelling good. And the welder, even though that you don't even touch him, but you walk away smelling like them. And this is the influence of the bad friendship on people and this is the influence of good friendship on people like the perfume seller and the welder. The perfume seller is that good friendship and the welder is that bad friendship. And I do advise every single Muslim out there to watch out who they befriend. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he says, Al Maru ala dini khalile falyandur ahadukum man yukhalil every person is in accordance to their friends. So let every one of you see who they are befriending. Tell me who your friends are and I'll tell you who you are. Tell me who your friends are and I know who you are. If, you are from, if your friends are those who fear Allah, I know you are a person who fears Allah. But if your friends are those who do not fear Allah, then I know you're a person who does not fear Allah or else you would not accept yourself to socialize with those who do not fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why my brother and my sister only befriend those who fear Allah. Only befriend those who get you closer to Allah. Only befriend those who will be with you as friends in this world and the hereafter. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, الْأَخِلَّاءُ بَعْضُهُمْ لِبَعْضٍ عَدُوهُ إِلَّا الْمُتَّقِينَ That the friends of this world become enemies towards one another in the hereafter, except the muttaqin, except those who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, except those who believed in Allah, except those who obeyed Allah. Your friends in this world will become your first enemies in the hereafter. If they do not become your enemies in this world before the hereafter, they become your enemies in the hereafter, and they'll be your first enemies, but those who used to fear Allah will always be your friends in this world, and they'll be your friends in the hereafter. My brother and my sister, choose your friends wisely. Choose your friends wisely. Only befriend those who will get you closer to Allah. Only befriend those who fear Allah. Only befriend those who will remind you of Allah. Only befriend those who will increase your faith and iman. Only befriend those who will protect you and protect your iman. Not those that you think you want to laugh around them or have a good time around them. Those who laugh for you, those who laugh with you will laugh at you one day. But those who make you cry will cry for you one day. Our friendship should be based for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our friendship should be based on the pleasure of Allah azza wa jal. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said that there are seven people in which Allah will shade under his shade when there's no shade except his shade in the hereafter. And there are two brothers who loved each other for the sake of Allah, stayed like this until the day they passed away, until the day they farewelled this world. Our friendship is for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We surround ourselves with those who fear Allah azza wa jal. Because we remind ourselves, we remind ourselves of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when we sit amongst them, when we sit around them. I should never accept myself or accept my children to be amongst those who do not fear Allah azza wa jal. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had the best of companions. And the Nabi alayhi salatu wa sallam only surrounded himself with the best of people. And the best of people only surrounded themselves with the best of people. Your friend, your friend is, your friend is, a, your friend is someone that you should be very, very cautious. And your friend should be someone that you should be very, very aware. 
who you choose. Choosing your friend is a lot more serious than choosing a spouse in some areas, than choosing a wife or a husband. That's how important it is for you to choose your friends. A Muslim does not become a friend with just anyone, just for the sake of it. But a friend, a Muslim analyzes, a Muslim searches, a Muslim looks into it, a Muslim thinks about it before they make a friend of anyone. I choose if this person is good for me. Is this person good for my religion? Is this person will remind me of Allah Azza wa Jal? Does he or she have good character? Do they fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Or are they only good in front of me, bad behind my back? This is the type of people they should be looking. You should be looking, when, when you look for friends, you should be looking into them. Not you are spying on them, billah, but at least thinking about who you want to become friends with. Not just becoming friends with anyone or socializing with anyone. As a Muslim, I should be very, very, very cautious who I hang out with, who I socialize with, who I befriend. This is the Muslim. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam insists that the believers are friends to one another. The believers are there for each other. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he describes the believers as awliya, as awliya, allies and protectors and friends to one another. يَأْمُرُونَ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَيَنْهَوْنَ عَنِ الْمُنْكَرِ They call for which is good and prevent from which is bad. وَيُقِيمُونَ الصَّلَاةِ وَيُؤْتُونَ الزَّكَاةِ And they pray, they fulfill the prayers and they pay their zakat. But on the other hand, Allah describes the munafiqeen as those who ya'muruna bil munkar wa yanhawna anil ma'roof call for, call for which is evil and prevent from which is bad. We don't want to be around those people. I do advise you, my brother and my sister, be cautious who you befriend. This is the advice of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu You are not going to get a better advice than the advice of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. Your friends, your friends, your friends. And make sure your children befriend only those who are good, those with good characters, those who have good behavior, as the friend is always, is, as the friend always drags the other friend into their character. Tell me who your friends are. I'll tell you who you are. Tell me who your friends are. I'll tell you who you are. This is what the, this is this is what the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam says that the friend that the person is in accordance to the religion of his friend. Al maru ala dini khalili. Who your friends are is who you are. So if the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam tells you, "Falyandur ahadukum man yuxalil." Let every single one of you look into who they befriend. You need to be cautious who you befriend. You need to be very wise who you choose your friends. You need to be very smart who you choose your friends. Your friends are those who will get you closer to Allah. Your friends are those who remind you of Allah. Your friends are those who are there for you during the tough moments, not just during the easy moments. Your friends are those who are with you during the black days and the white days. Your friends are those who are with you in this world and the hereafter. Your friends are those who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. لا تصاحب إلا مؤمنا Only make a friend who is a believer. Who only make a friend who is someone who fears Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. اللهم اجعلنا من الذين يستمعون القول فيتبعون أحسنا سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك.